Y'all, I just did a whole video and was going to take mine out of the oven that was done and show you. And when I came back, my camera was cut off. I guess I wasn't videoing at all. So I am so sorry. And I did such a good job showing you everything that I did. But I'll tell you real quick and then I'll show you what I've got done. This is a bacon cheeseburger casserole. And I started with three pounds of ground beef and I'll show you step-by-step -step process at the end of this video. I had already started mine and my husband's in the oven and I'm making this one for my daughter and her family. So I put part of the hamburger in ours and part in hers. I cooked bacon and I, in the video, what you've missed is me crumbling the bacon up on top. And then I mixed um, two eggs and I took one cup, one half cup of heavy cream and I mixed the eggs and the cream and part of that cheese together. And I was so excited to show you how you can just squeeze this and drizzle that cream and cheese right over top of this. So I love these silicone bowls. So I did that and the cheese that I have shredded, I did two different kinds. That you're gonna miss me doing. Um, I like the big shreds. I call them farm style shreds of, of cheese. And then I have some that's grated a little finer. And what I was using is our double grater. And I took it apart after I was through so I could show you, but it hooks together. So you can shred, this is the big side, and then this is the small side that I use. Or you can pull them apart and use them right over a plate or a dish or whatever you want to do. But I love these and they just snap right back together. So I sit mine up on the cutting mat when I am shredding and just let both of those kind of fall in there. But then when I'm washing them, I do take them apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so the ones that I have in the oven are done and I'll show you those. This has to bake for 20 minutes and I'm supposed to, according to the recipe, it's the first time I've made this version, it's a low carb version. I've made cheeseburger casseroles before, but it tells me in the recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you that after I poured my cream mixture and eggs and cheese on top, to top it with the remaining cheese. Y'all, I'm just gonna wait until about the last five or six minutes to put the cheese on because this cheese it's not gonna need 20 minutes to melt, and I just, I want it to be nice and thick on the top. So you can put it on if you want to, but I like to hold mine to the end to put it on. So now, <laughs> I will get mine and show you. Um, I had put it under the broiler for just a little bit, but I don't think it was under there long enough. I was trying to hurry for that video that y'all are not even gonna see. <laughs> so let me get mine, and then I'll um, put this one in the oven. hot y'all <laughs> I had that pan sitting on it so I'm going to set this here now I did these on purpose <laughs> of course in two smaller containers and I've got a half a pound I was telling you about how I did that too I've got about a half a pound in each of these and I stuck there's a jalapeno pepper I stuck that up on the side on my husband's I put the jalapeno peppers instead of pickles because he's not a pickle fan. But for mine, I did pickles. My sister always supplies me with some homemade bread and butter pickles and, and they are delicious. So that's what I put on mine. And I may need to bake it just a little bit more. I did it for about 18 minutes, but I wanted to get it out and show you since I had that other one through. So let's see. This cheese is gonna go on that one before I put it, take it out of the oven. I'm the last five or six minutes, and I'll take pictures of that. 
I'm not going to slice my husband's because he's not here yet. So let's see if I can get some of this out. Might help if I tilt this down so y'all can see. And I'm wondering when I tilted the camera down earlier at the beginning if that's what happened. And I thought I was videoing and I was not. Ooh, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Y'all see that? Yum, yum, yum. I get another big piece out. This is really more than I will eat and more than he will eat. We could probably share one of these. But the reason I wanted to do it in these, gosh, that looks good, y'all, is to show you that you can cook in single portions like this or smaller portions. And you can actually put the lid on it, let it cool, put the lid on it and freeze it. And then just take it out and heat it up later. These are our leak proof containers. You can cook them in any type you want, but I love these leak proof containers. They come only though in a set of three. You get a three cup size. This is, I'm using a five cup size and this is an eight cup size. So I'm a visual person. So I wanted you to see the different sizes of those as well. So I will take pictures and put at the end of all this and I cannot wait to dig in. You can see my pickles. Let me get a fork. If it's not totally too hot, I might taste of it for you. I'm trying to be real careful with this camera phone, y'all. I need a camera assistant. But you can see the pickles and the cheese. Oh, I'm gonna taste. Mm, hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. That ground beef is delicious, and I'm gonna share what I did with that in a video prior to, after this one, mm, but it's perfect. I could definitely, I'm gonna eat all mine. I said I probably wouldn't eat that whole container, but I lied, I'm gonna eat it all. Oh, yeah, it's hot, but look at that. Okay, it's a winner winner. So this is the recipe when I share it that I hope you will make you can half the recipe. You don't have to make the full amount that I made. But while I was going, I actually doubled the recipe. Instead of making what I'm gonna share with you, I doubled it so I could have one for my daughter and her family too. Mmm, that's delicious. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry that um, the video didn't work as I had planned. I was just doing my thing and showing you all what I was doing and then it wasn't even recording me. But you got to see the main part, which is what it looks like. And I can tell you for sure it's delicious. And I'll put pictures at the end and the recipe in comments. Thanks. Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, I have tasted and it is delicious, but I did add a little more seasoning than the recipe called for. Um, I've got the cream cheese melted. I added the Worcestershire sauce, the ketchup. I didn't use an onion, so I added the three onion seasoning, seasoning salt, garlic, and salt and pepper as it suggested. And I tasted and I think it needed a little bit of something else. So I added some more of the three onion and a little more seasoning salt and some bell pepper herb in there. And this baby is on point now. It is delicious.